Okay. So we are filling up the feeder. It's, uh, what's the date? 24th. 24th Christmas. Day before Christmas. Christmas Eve, traditionally known. And uh, young Master Dylan is going to do the job crawling in. Uh, temperature slightly down. We're getting it down to 24. Uh, sorry. Temperature slightly down. We're going to get it down to 20. We started feeding, as you can see from the picture, Saki Hikari deep red along with some other Saki Hikari food um, that's in there, both sinking and floating type. And uh, so that's the last of the protein food there. So Dill is going to gently fill this up. We'll take his time so you don't waste that food in there. We've also lowered down the feeding amounts and the amount of food. So this is now only going to be fed five times a day um, because it's color food mixed in with a bodybuilding food and also a wheat jump sinking food, all sake hikari in here. Okay, so um, hopefully like and subscribe to our channel. If you're on Instagram, follow us on Instagram. If you'd like some Rasta merch, uh, Dylan, you should have Rasta merch on. And you could have bought, so get some, send me a message and you could get some. Deliveries are now January, uh, looks like January 5th, 11, 12th, uh, depending on that. So, how are we looking on the feeder, Dylan? Uh, how are we looking? Don't waste any, we're watching you. Yeah. Make sure we can close it first. Close the top down. Hey, there you go. Right, that's good. And let's put the jug back in there. That's fine, oh, leave it like that. Oh. Okay. He doesn't want to crawl in over Christmas, that's why. Okay. There you go. If you have a daughter looking for a husband, he's available. He can do scrapes and coys as well. Although you have a girlfriend in Texas, don't you, Dylan? Not really, but... And Canada. All right. So. There you go. Like and subscribe to our channel. There's our... Uh... Oh my! I just missed him. Bumped his head on the wood. Yes! Yes, for the camera. He's knocked himself out. Doesn't know who he is. What's your name? What year it is? You owe me 20 pounds. <laughs> Alright, so there's the lights there. Cool. Say bye to everybody. See you there, everyone. What are you going to tell them about our channel? And like and subscribe. And also share the videos. And. So not really. Hit the thumbs up button. There you go, boys. Yeah, dropping daily by 0.2. 20 uh, is ideal. 19 is fine. Um, depends really how accurate your thermometer is. Um, mine has been calibrated with a scientific thing. There's thing's. our mixture there of food. You can see they're really dark, almost black looking pellets out of color food. And uh, the different mixtures in there. That's going in. All right. Peace. Yeah, so Dylan's just fill up the feeder. You can see we got the Rasta merch on. This is a large, and I probably can get away with a medium, to be honest. Um, Fruit of the Looms. So if you like one yourself, uh, send me a message on Facebook Messenger or on um, <clears throat> Instagram. Oh, I can hear the backwash of the recycle arrow. Anyhow, uh, fish are looking great and they've been scraped and checked and scraped as you'd have seen my last video on flukes and I can't, I can't find any. I'm looking for flukes and I can't find it. I'm act actively looking, I'm on a fluke hunt and I can't find any. So give them a few more days after Christmas and I will scrape again. Um, but yeah. And uh, they tend to, they're looking pretty good. No excessive slime on them. Uh, when, I fl when I scrape fish, I scrape four samples of each fish in that way, okay? So it's not just one spot and I try to scrape everywhere. And uh, that ugly Deutsch with live bait thing is a friend of mine, he needs to come and get it. But he's not heated, so he can't in that way, so. Yeah, so. I've, Coco. Yeah, so I've retreated to the fish house. Just too cold. Too cold outside to stand there freezing hands.
up and you can see the famous brush I used to clean my glass and the other brush I used to take all the cupboards off the fish pond eaves and wood and whatever so yeah uh, this is probably gonna be the penultimate video well the last from my pond um, I'll be filming on Monday at a uh, exclusive place uh, myself so um, you know it's been an interesting year with COVID and all the things that we've endured and now with tier 4 possibility of another restriction come the new year I don't know how it's going to affect the koi hobby if it will in a positive negative way a lot of positive so far lots more new ponds are being built and things like that so in a sense that's a good way but yeah I just did a short video I don't know how long this video would be by the time I edit it but just to say thank you to all for all the support um, a lot of you guys out there uh, of like the videos share the videos send me messages uh, I think in this little past week I must have had 32 messages uh, alone on Facebook saying thank you for the videos and the live on treating flukes and things like that and uh, yeah if you'd like one of these cool shirt uh, you can order one of these be part of the crew there's different styles available this is a larger god and it's a little bit probably a little bit too big on me um, but yeah if you'd like to order one of these every shirt you order whether t-shirt or whatever you order from the merch helps me make more videos how does that do that you may ask well I need to buy microphones I need a new camera uh, I need to pay for petrol to drive where I'm going to for my next to film another video which most of you who message me enjoy doing that so uh, if you're supporting the videos you're helping if you sorry if you're supporting by buying merch you're helping the videos so yeah see that way if you buy a jumper um, you're not only buying a jumper to keep your body warm but also you're helping me create more content for you to enjoy so thank you to all the people who enjoy it and all the guys in America the Americans have surpassed the Europeans in supporting this video um, so much so so uh, if you could really continue to support Rasta Koi in 2021 that would be great uh, you could do so by liking by subscribing uh, check our Instagram as well um, I, I'm not clever at putting links and a lot of these guys do fancy stuff in the video uh, me is what you see is what you get really so uh, if you can like and subscribe share the videos follow me on Instagram and get some merch merch very easy to get just message me uh, either on Facebook Messenger or through Instagram or Rastakoi at yahoo.com and I could send you some over you just pay on PayPal and uh, it will be directly delivered by the company to you so I'm um, using print on demand I know it's a little bit more money but it saves the middleman a lot of work and things like that and yeah you get the stuff I get the money and we're able to make more videos so thank you all for your support over uh the 20 2020 um thank you to mike yumi koi for supporting the rasta koi uh event which a lot of people have got their koi are very happy with uh thank you to the dealers who open up uh this year we were able to do videos as well thank you to them uh thank you to the mods moderators who are live if you haven't seen that live Head over to YouTube now and uh, look at the channel and look at the live I did on fluke treatment. It's important that you keep your pond in pristine condition before you treat. So make sure that uh, your water is ready for the treatment. Make sure that you've um, uh, stopped feeding for a bit. Take the loading off the pond. Clean out your drums. Turn off, turn off the trickle in, trickle out. Turn off your UV. Uh, if you got a bypass on your drum, my red label drum has a bypass, use the bypass so that way it keeps the chemical uh, in the water longer. And in my estimation, and again this is just me, the first 24 hours is vital with that medicine going in if you're treating for flutes or whatever you're treating for. Um, make sure your, your water is pristine. Uh, let, the, let the medicine do the work, not fighting the pollutants in the water, that is the amount of food or waste that's there. Let it, let it arrive in clean water. So I take the loading off the pond. I make sure everything is ready. I knock the recycler off. 
I also turn off trickle in, trickle out. So I make sure and I slow everything down. So at the moment, uh, my pond is running at 2000 RPM on a flow friend. Uh, I drop all that way that I drop that way down to 1250 RPM. So literally the pond is just about ticking over. Uh, the up pipes that many of you would know about is not in effect. So they're not really taking the chemicals out. They're not doing anything. And I expect though, when the fluke treatment goes in, the water looks milky. If you've used it, you will know what I'm talking about. And I expect to see that milkiness the next day. Um, if it's crystal clear, then it means it's been stripped out somewhere. So in my pond, it remains milky for two days. Uh, probably not as milky as the first 24 hours, but it does remain milky for the uh, two days. Uh, stocking is a big issue. A lot of guys, you're treating the fish and then you're overstocked yourself. You know it. Um, sort out your stocking, make sure you've got less fish in there. Less is more in many ways. Um, also, when you're buying fish, make sure you've got a quarantine. If you don't have a quarantine, what do you do? You get one. Simple as that. Otherwise, you'll be spending hundreds of pounds. I know somebody said they spent thousands of pounds this year treating for different parasites. A quarantine will help deal with that quickly. And it's really good koi keeping practice in that way. And uh, there'll be a video in the new year. Uh, hopefully, I could get my uh, uh, quarantine system in place. And I'll show you, do a video on that quarantine system as well. Um, so, yes, when you're treating for flukes or treating for anything indeed, make sure your pond is ready. There's no point adding loads of chemicals. A lot of guys are adding this chem chemical, then that chemical, then before they add this chemical. This is not meant to be that way, all right? Just get your pond ready. Uh, make sure you bring everything down. Bring yourself down as well. Don't just start chucking stuff in because you found flukes on a slide or you found a parasite. Uh, you can have multiple parasites, all right? So make sure if you find, for example, flukes and white spot, treat for white spot, don't treat for flukes. White spot will kill your fish. Flukes wouldn't kill them instantly. Of course, if it runs rampant, it will do. But uh, get a level headed, talk to your dealers. Um, I'm just a hobbyist. Although I've been doing it for a while, I'm just a hobbyist. So um, admittedly, I get things wrong. Uh, there's no expert out there. But a dealer, your dealer, if he's good enough, He's not just there to sell you chemicals so you can make money off of you. He's there to give you good advice, sound advice to help you in that koi hobby. All right, so I wanted to sort of say that um, uh, for me, I, I have one uh, fluke treatment that I use for a number of years and it's worked for me very well. And uh, you have to have a vet's prescription to get it. Um, thankfully, I'm able to do that um, and get that treatment, which is what I use. I tried Lernex Pro and it worked really well. Um, it does rough the fish up a lot and in one or two of the smaller fish but granted they were just cheap fish I bought over the summertime if you watch these videos you know what I'm talking about uh, it does rough them up and you'll end up with some burned skins on them but it does heal up I mean most of them heal back up properly in that way but they've got to get into that treatment and they've got to stay there for a while if you're buying a drum you're building a pond make sure get a drum that you can have a bypass in the red label drum is brilliant for that you just press out with your hands I know a number of drums do them. Some of them require a tool. Um, others you can just use your hands. I love just using my hands in that way and getting it done. Um, pond design is important. Um, one of the things I don't do is inject air into my pond. You're probably looking at videos, you never see the bottom drains air on. If they do, if they are on, they're on for a short time and on just a very little amount of air, not, a, not an eruption like a jacuzzi. Uh, I tend not to do that as well. All right, so. That's one of the things I wanted to mention. Oh, and the drum is going off right on cue. Let me give it a second. Um, it's done. Now. And um, now. There you go. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is KH. I recently saw a video. Uh, somebody cleaning their... Somebody sent me this video. Uh, and they were cleaning their drum or something they were doing. And they had a, a bottle of bicarbonate and just pouring it on both sides of the drum uh, to buffer the KH. I don't know why you'd need to put so much in. They should be measured and uh, you should know how to do that. Don't just chuck KH, uh, don't just stop, chuck bicarbonate into your pond that way. All right, um, as you know from these videos, I run a KH of 0.5 or 20 milligram, probably a little bit less, 15 milligram. I, saw, I see a lot of videos out there where guys running KH of 6 and 8. 
because of crash and because they're covered. I check my ponds daily. Um, I've been doing this for a while and it takes a lot to crash a pond. It does happen, um, but there's no need. If you're, in a, if you're in a part of the country where your tap water KH is one, you're blessed. I have to use a recycle RO to get that system that you are having from your tap. So if you get a tap water of a KH of one and you're putting in stuff that they make it six or eight, you shouldn't be doing that, all right? Um, this is like 10 days after their fluke, double fluke treatment and I can't find any flukes. I'm looking for flukes and I can't find any. The fish are all looking good. Um, and when I scrape a fish, I take four samples of one fish. So I know just take one slide and call it a day. It's four slides from each fish and I did five fish today. So that will show you how many slides I did and I still can't find anything. That don't mean they're not there, it just means I can't find them if they're not, if they're there. So I'll give them a few days off and then scrape again, but there is no flicking or flashing or diving. Uh, I'm actually hunting for flukes. Hunting for flukes should be a good title of a video, but I can't find any, so. And uh, that tacky gal over there, she's looking the beast. An original Yumekoi fish, UK, which is now a good thing to have, eh? So. Anybody's interested in this mango thing, it's for sale. Cheap, cheap. That one, and there's another one up there. It's for sale. I mean, if you want it, come and get it. Cheap, cheap, cheap. They need to go, so. All right, so 